on the structure, on the pillar. <laughs> right, right, my lovers, I'm back out on the fields. I've got a cameraman today, Richard and Mark, and we're going to do something a little bit different today, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> right, what do you reckon is in this one then? <sighs> be nice for it to be a nice gold coin, wouldn't it? Yeah. I want like a pot of Roman coins. A pot of Roman coins? Oh, that's boring. I've already found four of them. You got to watch the telly tonight. Watch the telly tonight. I want to see this. It's um yeah nine o'clock nine o'clock tonight on Channel Five. Yeah. It's the program with Dan Walker and Michaela Strachan. Is it so awkward? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, another piece of it. No, that's no good, is it? Well spotted. Oh, well done. Shall I do it? I'm a little bit heavier than you, I think. I think I might be able to put it in a bit. Any good at rounding kids up because it's too down. There you are, that's quite good. Oh, not we're not going to that one. Is this? Let's go. Bye. Bye. Come on, then. Let's keep going. Cheers, okay. though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, earlier on, we came around and put all these pegs in so that we could. So we could. Uh, so we won't be wandering round trying to find signals to dig up for you. <laughs> All right, so so there's the signal. So it's still in the ground. It's a coin. That's a silver coin. It's young Queen Victoria, so young head Queen Victoria, which is known as a bun head. What else can and the date on it. Can you see the date on there? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes aren't as good as they should be. No, I can't. You can't see it. <laughs> it's going to be about 1870, I'm guessing. Bless you. Well, I don't know. We can try. <laughs> it just says six pence on that. Six <laughs> pence. Oh, so on the other side. Can you? I want to find another peg. I want to go. I, I want to find what's under well, another Craig's peg. Craig's got another peg over there. I can't see any date on it. Well, there will be a date on it. No, nothing no. on that side. Eighteen, eighteen eighty-three. Oh wow, right at the bottom. Tiny. Right at the bottom, is it? 1883. Wow. It says it there, look. Wow. Oh. oh yeah, it's got a strange sort of thing at the bottom to stop it. 1883. Right at the bottom. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Just there, 1883. I can see it easy. You can see it easy. <laughs> That's having good eyesight, isn't it? Let me, let me look. That is a hundred. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Well, we'll see what it is. Oh, turn it off. It's got the power lines nearby. Makes a bit of a racket. You haven't got the power lines nearby. 
Right, oh, hopefully it's just there. I have to turn this back on now, unfortunately. It's a bit of dark saw there. Yeah, I think it's just there. Mm. A lot of interference for some reason. <laughs> A shotgun cap. What's that? A shotgun cap. It's when people go shooting with shotguns. That's that's the cap at the end. They're plastic nowadays. But that's a bit of an old shotgun. That's just the uh, metal that's come off. That's just the impression. There's nothing there. Let's see if we can find a better one. <laughs> You're going to go and see what that one is, are you? Yeah. All right. Thank you. He might regret it if it's a gold toy. You might regret it. Oh, oh, no, I'm going to stay over here because it's just a coin. If it's a coin, some, it might give it to you. Yeah, it might give it to me. Especially if it's a rubbish coin. <laughs> it's definitely in there. Yeah, it's definitely still in the grain, but it's not a very good signal. So it might be rubbish. It might just be ready to go down. Oh, it's a long way down this one, is This is a long way down. It could be somewhat rubbish, couldn't it? Rubbish. Is that a yeah, it don't look very good to me. What is it? I don't think they'd let me spend it in the shop. No. <laughs> oh. There's one over there. Oh, it's a squashed bullet, another one. Oh. It's a bullet that's hit something. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Or oh, a bit of foil. What, what's it like when you go over there, you know, uh, ordinary ground? Silent. Oh, silent, right. Silent. Silent. Right. So does it get, re like, really loud if there's something really close? Oh yeah, this is quite, sh this sounds quite shallow. So this is not deep. I reckon it could be a shotgun cap if we're unlucky or it could be a coin but I reckon it might be a button or a bit of foil it's in there now this this gets closer so you just ah, it's in here somewhere <laughs> Maybe a bit closer to the ground. Oh, we get different noises. Ah, there we go. I've been foiled. Mr. Kipling has been here. What is it then? What is it? It's foil. Tin foil. Oh, cool. Like, you know, just a bit of... Oh! 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 <laughs> but do you want to see some other stuff I've found? Yes. Over the years? Not just, not not just, just today. There's a little lion, look. See the little lion head? Yeah. That's oh, one... Th that? That's Anglo-Saxon. That's 1,400 years old. Oh, no, that's not Anglo-Saxons. Really? This is even older. That's a little wild boar. 
and that's Iron Age. That's uh, 2,100 years old. And this is even older still. That's a tip of a Bronze Age knife. See how it's chamfered on each edge? Yeah. That's 3,600 years old. And this is a coin of George III. Uh, the date's on there somewhere, 1819. So 200 years ago. Yeah. So that's yeah. older than your granddad. <laughs> Fancy finding that, eh? Exciting, that's just a bit of little lead bullet I found earlier. Nothing, nothing exciting. So most of the time we dig up stuff like this, but occasionally we dig up really nice things. Have you found anything really nice? Peg along, shall we? Shall we try the next peg along? We've got a few pegs. Now the machine's chattering away. Can we not sound so disappointed when it's a piece of foil? <laughs> this ch machine's chatting away because I've got a big power line above me head. Oh. oh. And you've probably all got mobile phones on you as well, yeah. which probably don't help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you won't> <laughs> oh. No. no. Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't like that. <laughs> oh, it <laughs> a hoard of, a hoard of uh, gold and silver coins. Mm. We're still at the museum. We've been there for a long time. Oh, oh. It's dry, isn't it? The soil. See, yeah. It's a bit dark there. Let's see how it's a bit lumpy and dark. Yeah. And that usually means that there's something just here. Right. It's behind you. It's behind my, you. My, my thing. So how far underground does that work? Ed? Um, you can go down a couple of feet if it depends on the size of the object. Oh, it's a shotgun oh. cap. Cool. <laughs> it's from a shotgun when people shoot shotguns. Oh, oh I know, the thing on the end. The thing yeah. on the end. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Of course, nowadays they're plastic, but yeah. back then they were paper. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that is. Still cool. ah. I expect Mark's got something far better than me because he's always digging up the good stuff. <laughs> 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 so Channel 5 at 9 o'clock tonight. Channel 5? Channel 5 at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yes, we love that. You don't find good stuff at that time. You'll see something that <laughs> him and my friend That looks like clay. You what, sorry? That's looks like that clay. looks like clay. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> it's in the surface. It's not a good sign. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, yeah, that's what he a, just found. It's a shotgun, Another one. A shotgun he just found one. Oh. <laughs> so it's just a shotgun well, well. cartridge. Cool. But if you, if you watch the telly tonight, um, we find... Last year we found six and a half thousand Roman coins. What? Inside three Roman yeah, that's pots. What talking about. And we found another small pot full of silver coins. Wow. So uh, that's what's going to be on the television where tonight. Was that found? The same place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Same, place. <laughs> same place. Twenty foot from the twenty foot from the six and a half thousand coins. Is this organised by yourselves or by the school or? No, it's organised by the school. Yeah. We just we just came support. and helped with leading the walks. That's all. And how many kids do you think you've had today? I don't know, not um, uh, about, about 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 35. Children. Yeah. yeah. That's their parents. Um, not as many as the previous time. No. No. And just a bit of a thank you to Craig. Yes, oh, thank you very oh, much yes. to Craig and Mark for coming, and, and Rich. Yes. <laughs> for coming and spending time here. That's very good because apparently the children have really loved it. So it's been a great 
um, you know, added added bit of fun added for the bonus. for the for the for the walk. Oh, what an exciting day that was yesterday! I forgot to do an outro. It was all a bit hectic, <laughs> but I fully enjoyed it, and so did Mark. And very thanks very much to Rich for doing the filming because I wouldn't have been able to do it. A um, bit of wind noise, but um, hopefully I'm just editing the video now. Um, but it's it's really difficult because I can't have any kids in it. I can have the back of their heads, that's fine, but um, not their faces. So it's really, really tricky to edit. There was one, I, 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 one vision of 50,000 kids' hands in the holes and it was... <laughs> I didn't quite get that on film, but oh, it was an epic day and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So if anyone wants to do anything like that in the future, then, you know, call, call the organisers and they'll get in contact. So, yeah, it was a really great day and thoroughly enjoyed it.